Hello, in this video we're going to be doing multi-step conversions, which is where we're putting together our moles to atoms conversions and our grams to moles conversions into one single conversion. So, for this, we're either going to be going from atoms all the way to grams, but to do that we've got to first go to moles and then go to grams, because we can't go straight from atoms to grams. Or, we start with grams, then we convert that to moles, and then we convert that to atoms. So there's two different ways we can do this. We either start with atoms, and then we go to grams, or we start with grams, and then we go to atoms. So, we're going to be using the same two conversion factors that we used last time, which we'll go ahead and just list those at the bottom. For the moles to atom portion, we do that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And for the other one, we do that one mole, one mole is equal to some number of grams, which is the molar mass, which I'll abbreviate mm. So those are our two conversions that we use. So let's go ahead and start with our first one. We're going atoms to grams. So let's say that we have 1.7 times 10 to the 26th atoms of, let's go hydrogen. So first thing we need to do is we need to convert atoms of hydrogen to moles because we can't go from atoms to grams. So to do that, if we're trying to get to moles, we need to make sure that moles is on the top and atoms is on the bottom. And so after we do this, atoms will cancel atoms and we'll be left with moles. And now, normally we'd stop, we'd hit do this out, we'd get an answer, and then maybe we'd turn this to grams. But we're going to do it in one whole step, instead of doing it in two different equations. So now that we've got moles, we can now go from moles to grams. So we're trying to get to grams, that's what our final answer needs to be in. So we'll go ahead and put grams on the top, and we're trying to get to grams, so I'll put it over here too. And to get to grams, we need to go from moles, so moles needs to go in the bottom. So now, our moles up here cancels moles down here, and now we're left with just grams as a unit, which is what we want, because that's what we're trying to get to. So now we've got all of our units canceling correctly, and we know that the right things are going to be in the right places. So our first conversion factor, when we go from atoms to moles, we know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then, for our second conversion factor, we know that one mole is equal to some number of grams of hydrogen. If you find the molar mass of hydrogen, it's 1.01. .01. So now we've got all of our numbers plugged into the right places. So, first thing we need to do is multiply across the top. So we do 1.7 times 10 to the 26th. And we multiply that by 1.01. .01. And now we divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And in this case, if we started with that many atoms, we would get that we have 200 and 85 grams. I'll go ahead and just round it there. So we get 285 grams of hydrogen as our answer. Make sure you have grams of hydrogen. If we're asking for grams, make sure that you have the right unit at the end. So that's how you go from atoms to grams. But now we're going to go ahead and go the opposite direction from grams to atoms. So, how about if we had 25 
grams of carbon. Fix this too real quick. 25 grams of carbon. We want to know how many atoms are in 25 grams of carbon. And we can't go straight from grams to atoms, so we have to go to moles first, because we go from grams to moles. It's our first thing we do, and then we go to atoms. So to go from grams to moles, we need to make sure that grams of carbon goes in the bottom of our fraction, because we've got to cancel grams with grams, and we've got to put moles of carbon in the top. So once we do that, grams of carbon cancels grams of carbon, we're left with moles. And now that we're at moles, we can do another conversion to get from moles of carbon to atoms of carbon. So since atoms is what we were going to go to, we put it in the top, and moles goes in the bottom, so we cancel moles. And now we're left with just atoms at the end. Our grams cancel grams, our moles cancel moles, so all of our units worked out. So now we're going to go ahead and fill in our numbers. So, one mole of carbon is equal to some number of grams, which the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. And then we know that one mole of any atoms are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So now we're going to get an answer in atoms of carbon. So we've got to go ahead and multiply across the top and divide by the bottom. So we start with 25 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Then we divide that by 12.01, and we get that we should have 1.25 times 10 to the 24th atoms of carbon. And that would be our final answer in atoms of carbon going from 25 grams. So when doing these multi-step conversions I would recommend that you set yourself up one of these road maps at the top either this one or this one depending on where you need to go if you're going from atoms to grams make sure that you set this up saying that I need to go from atoms to moles and then from moles to grams so that when you set it up you don't put these fractions out of place and that you know what needs to go on the top on the bottom in what order and when you're going from grams to atoms, make sure that you have grams to moles first and then moles to atoms. And that's all for this video.